that long day behind you. Good times lie ahead with company worth keeping. Then a bash a smile on your head. Come on in, the doors open. You'll find just the finest folks here. Pull up a chair, grab a drink, and let our stories your ear. Cause we're the talk, talk, talk the tavern. Here you're always welcome. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. Promising beer and bed love. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. Music, medicine, then some. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. The song's over. Pump, 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 pump it up. <laughs> and welcome to the tavern. Tonight's topic is going to be <laughs> it's going to be the cryptid protection program. We'll get to that in a few minutes. I want to let everybody know this is an adult show with adult time. Okay, we drink, we swear. Yeah, we do. And we smoke. You know, I don't think we swore a whole lot last time. Anyhow. Um We'll make up for it. Probably. I am Travis I. Sivart. I am the host as well as an author of some incredible fantasy and cyber pulp books. Check those out at bit.ly slash Travis Books. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash Travis Books. B-I-T dot L-Y slash Travis Books. And now let's, uh, did I, my, oh, my vices. So tonight, because I recently picked up a few extra bottles, I'm going with Jim Bean Double Oak Bourbon. And, yum, uh, yum. Yeah, it is. It is very good. And I'm just petting the glass like it's a kitty. Okay. Andrew, would you like to introduce yourself while I finish doing this? I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> Andrea LeChat here. Um, my, my advice is not that. It is Pringles and tea, because that's how I roll. How about you, Ed? Hey, what's up, people? Um, my vice is tonight is Josh Sellers Pinot Noir, and these little tiny cheesy chewy things that are really, really yummy. What kind of little <laughs> tiny cheesy things are those? Extra sharp. Okay. Cheese cubes. <laughs> Okay, now, for everybody in chat, what are your vices tonight? What are you drinking, smoking, creating, touching, spanking, or whatever you're doing? Let us know. And while you guys are posting send that... Us link. <laughs> that's right. Then send us a link to your fans-only page. Um, <clears throat> while I'm doing that, I want to let chat know we are recording a podcast right now. You guys are part of our kind of in-studio audience here. So we really appreciate your input, your comments, your questions, your thoughts. But for us to read them off on air, they have to be either relevant or amuse the fuck out of us, and hopefully both. So let us know, and we'll let you know. Actually, you'll know if we read it out loud. But if you hear this noise, it means Travis wants to read that. Now, for everybody here on twitch.tv slash Travis Tavern Talk, that's uh, twitch.tv slash Travis Tavern Talk, where we record the live podcast every Monday night. It is sub-only chat. For those of you who are not a subscriber, you can still chat by waiting till we're done and we stop recording, or by using your channel points down in the lower left of the chat box. For those of you listening on the podcast, we have a live studio audience, and deal with that shit. You should have been here. Um, now, we need a toast. But first, let me read. Jewel says that she has cheer wine and barbecue chicken. That is a little southern and a little sexy. Mm-hmm. Charlene says tequila and s'mores bites. I'm not sure what that is, but damn, it sounds interesting. Little s'mores. Bite-sized s'mores. And Gary went old-school housewife. With new ports <laughs> and cherry vanilla brown cow yogurt, then going to lift weights. Suddenly lost that old school housewife thing. Um, I just imagine the. Uh, nice. I've seen Gary's haircut. He could never have curlers in it. Because she shaved his head. It's like Ed's haircut. Well, he just like glues them, you know. Just staple gun. Chunk. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, let's let's get. Um, hey, here's. <laughs> well, thank you for showing us your bits. It's nut. underscore just underscore way underscore not change <laughs> x three hundred. I am so waiting for my new chair because this one is just creak 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 creak, creak hiccup. Um, <laughs> so here's. To our mythical friends, okay. well, here's to our friends that have become myths. Well, hold on. Here's to our friends that are legendary. Wait. Hey, here's to my imaginary friends that we hide from others. You know, mm -hmm. like Big Bigfoot. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm a nudist. I don't hide shit. So. <laughs> Ew. No, you don't. But you use a bidet, so it's usually not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a quote here from Cogsley. <laughs> See, the best way to cheer yourself up is to try to cheer somebody else up. I think you're doing that. Okay. Here, here's There's the quote. Mark I, Twain. Yeah, Mark Twain. Talked mm -hmm. about him in a recent episode. Mm -hmm. Here, Never let me did. let me give you this quote here. I think Gary. this is it. Huh? Just Gary. Okay, this is something Trin said, I said, so I put it in the quotes. Stay positive, work hard, and get shit done. But I've got better ones. Here, check this one out. Well, not that one either. Huh? Oh, you could drink for all of them. I get exhausted in three to five seconds. Tops. A quote from me. Apparently somebody like caught me saying that. I've heard that. <laughs> it was on the news. Not from me. <laughs> There we go. Another thing that apparently I said on stream, I don't think even a doctor should see that far in. By the way, I do remember I was talking about gaping. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what's the one before that? Oh, there we go. We're back to... Okay, no, I, th I don't think there's any other stupid ones. But apparently, at this point in time, anything I add is just stupid random shit that gets said. Um, so... Apparently there is no quote 94. It, it has wandered off. It's in the Bahamas. Uh. <sighs> it's a mystical. It it's is. It's in what, what, what cryptid would you hide in the Bahamas so it fit in and didn't stand out? I don't know. But do you want to explain what? Cryptid okay. Protection program so the concept please? of this show, Cryptid Protection Program, cryptids being mythical, legendary, hidden creatures such as Bigfoot, the Yeti, Loch Ness monster, etc. So these creatures, and there's a bunch of them out there. Man, if you Google it, and Godzilla, I don't know if Godzilla would be a cryptid, but yeah, he is tonight. Damn it. So is Huckleberry Hound, motherfuckers. So the Kung. <laughs> Hong Kong Fui, he's a cryptid tonight. Which, by the way, I believe he was actually a chupacabra, so whatever. Um, I, he was an Asian one, that's why I knew Kung Fu. Um, him, him and Keanu Reeves, they used to hang out a lot. They both knew Kung Fu. Everyone was Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> Those fuckers are fast as lightning. Wait, maybe... They were fucking fast as lightning. I don't know. So anyhow, what would happen if we discovered all these creatures were real, but we wanted to do something to protect them, thus creating a protection program, like a witness protection program? So we're blending these two concepts of a witness protection program and cryptids into one show and topic. Do any good go. Nobody so that shit but me. When, <laughs> I first, when I first heard this concept, this subject, I thought it was about the cryptic programs, protection programs on like our computer and website. It can be. I was wrong. Cause what I was wrong. This is better. Wouldn't like figures from Tron be electronic cryptids? Mm -hmm. I'm so alone right now. Mm -hmm. Hold on, where's the, mm -hmm. where's the cricket, I'm buddy? Sorry, I'm reading. 
<laughs> I hear frogs. I see dead people so, in the backyard where I buried them. There's a graveyard in our neighbor's backyard. Just saying. Yeah, they think there's only two bodies there. But there's tombstones. So. Weird Wind brings up a good point. Go ahead. Um, do we have to do anything? They're pretty good at being at not being found. Well, that's so, why I added you know. in the the extra thing of if we found them all, and we had to protect them. How do you know we didn't find them and they're not already in protection? Because you know what, I believe Bigfoot lives in this neighborhood. They just Cooper. shaved him down. He's a really big guy with big feet, posing as a farm hand. He. Corrals the cow. I saw a cow licking its back today, like our cats do. You <laughs> saw a cow licking Bigfoot's back today? Like our cats do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only 50 more minutes of this before the show is over, guys. We're doing great. <laughs> Yeah, help us out, please. See, a, cow can, a cow can do that because their tongue's this long. I've seen it. They sell them at the grocery store. Impressive. That's why I dated one. Mm. That's why she dated one. Okay, so a couple suggestions of a few cryptids has been Godzilla, Cthulhu, and mermaids. Which, hey, can we take a moment to imagine... Godzilla and Cthulhu at a hot tub party together. I, I think they've been here. <laughs> it all depends what you drank or smoked that night, if they were there or not. And what happens in the hot tub stays in the hot tub. No, no, I, that's not I true. clean it. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, add chlorine and skim it the next day. <laughs> Is that Shatner's toupee? I don't know. He won't answer Travis on Twitter. We don't know. I finally joined Twitter. Why? Oh. That's another story. Uh, I was curious, and I already got kicked off with somebody's. Was it Shatner? So I, I already got blocked. No, it was it was a politician. Yeah. <laughs> Very first okay. day. Hey. You're fine, Good Gary. Job. So, so I'm just, what do you think Godzilla and Cthulhu, if they were in a hot tub, and I assume that hot tub would have to be the size of, I don't know, a water tower, perhaps more. Um, so, what, what would they have to drink? What would Godzilla and Cthulhu order from the bar? They wouldn't. They'd drink the hot tub water. I think Cthulhu might order a Bloody Mary. Made with real Marys. Order sake. <laughs> Shatner Toupe is really a triple. Really a triple. <laughs> that would be so. Cool. That would be Shatner. great. You guys remember that Saturday Night Live skit with like uh, Ed Grimley, and they'd have the guys with the hair that flipped up every time they got scared. Yeah, I, I was thinking, uh, yeah, more like a water reservoir, because, yeah. yeah. So, maybe not. Maybe people, you know how when you play telephone and the story gets bigger and bigger, maybe they're smaller than average size creatures, just as the story goes, so is their size. So, so maybe they'll fit in a regular hot tub. And Bigfoots would actually be like baby feet? Wow. I don't know. Those aren't all plastic hands we're selling. They're actually Bigfoot hands that are this big, and you put them on your cats. Yes. Mm. Uh, and, and and Char says, imagine telling your parents, instead of going to college, you're going to work in the cryptid protection program. Kind of like men in black. You can't <gasps> tell anyone. That's true. Then you'd have to kill them. Wait a minute. I see what's going no, on no, here. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I never listen to my kids, so they don't have to kill me for anything they say that they shouldn't have. I'm not going to look at that flashing light. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <sighs> so, 
So where would they put a lot of these? We already know Bigfoot's out here. Go to Google. I feel like the Loch Ness Monster could just keep on auditioning for the next Jurassic Park movie. Um, Is it gonna you be know one? that Ronosaurus on the, the pier crying when everybody left him? Did, did you say Ronosaurus? Like Ron Swanson, but a dinosaur? Ronosaurus. Yes. He's got a big mustache and bacon. You know what I'm talking about? I do. That's really the Loch Ness Monster from afar. It's a Brachiosaurus, by the way. He was so sad. Yeah, and to get that, they just took the Loch Ness Monster and put boots on him. <laughs> but they were green boots, so they could just CG that shit. There you go. So now we know where he is. He's in Hollywood. Right now, he's sitting at a table at uh, that famous Chinese restaurant discussing Dr. Seuss. <laughs> so, like, all the mer people, since Aquaman is, like, really popular now, they're I, actors in, in that. I, I know where they actually went. All the mer people went to America. This is America. I don't know. America. Crickets. <laughs> what if they caught Cthulhu and now he's just in a bunch of restaurants uh, as, as sushi? an appetizer? Oh, yeah, there he come. I <laughs> thought the Georgia government was trying to protect Bigfoot. Oh, that's the true thing. That's that's the thing. Was it? I th I'm, I know some state just passed a protection package for Bigfoot. Was that Georgia? Really? Wow. It was in the news. Hmm. This is real? Yeah, it's real. Oh, wait a minute. I remember the, there was like a hunting season for him, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have to get a license for that? Yeah, I think that's what they were trying to do. You get They could just sell licenses so people could hunt people... Bigfoot during these months. Okay. Cool. Wow. Yet yeah, suddenly it is sounding arcade, isn't it? You just be like, this is Sparta! and then you go get Bigfoot. <laughs> so what about the unicorns? I still want one. I will name him Mr. Stabby. Teach him to headbutt. Mm. But where are they in the meantime? Did you say you'd name him Mr. Ta Stabby and teach him about Stabby. the butt? Yay, yay. That is yay, that is going to be a fans yay. only channel like I've never seen before. <laughs> He's in the headbutt. But that's where you would give him the protection. You'd just be like, you, do you remember when Chris was on and he had that little unicorn horn that was like all <laughs> flobble, flobble, flobble? So now you're telling me all the unicorns are yeah. in porn? Now, now more Eddie Murphy. Put a unicorn in your butt. <laughs> what? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just you know, can't. that yeah. makes me wonder about. You remember Dr. Doolittle with the push and pull em, the original, like Rex Harrison musical with the push and pull em? Never saw it. Does anybody else feel like the modern version of a push and pull em? Which was a, a horse with two front signs and no back sign. And it was called push and pull him. Does anybody else get an imagery when you hear push and pull him as a double headed dildo? Really, it's only. <laughs> yeah, I think Snipe should be on the cryptid list. Uh, but not Wesley. No, we know where he is. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's uh coming in America. This is America. Two, two. Oh yeah, he is in that. <laughs> two. <laughs> two, yes. <laughs> a snipe is a 
fictional creature that you uh, send new hunters out into the wilderness to go hunt, and then you get in the truck and you leave them out there and laugh all the way home because you're that big of an asshole. There you go. Snipes are real. Are, oh God, if this takes me to Wesley Snipes' webpage. Yes, they are real. supposed to be a, like a type of bird, a roadrunner or something. Yep, a 26 wading bird yeah. species in a three genera family. Uh, scapula. Scalopedia. Okay. Oh, There's God. a snipe in the movie Up. Oh, God damn it. Cat. I, I have my ankles crossed and up on a container below my desk. My cat, Zazzles, climbed down there and is laying in the cross of my two calves and staying up there by digging her back claws into the, the muscle. Come on, Zazzle. But I can't come in here. Come on. This is what it would look like if I gave birth to a full-grown cat. Oh, there <laughs> you are. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Wow. So much better. Pussy, pussy, pussy. So on Coast to Coast, you know the show Coast to Coast? Space Coast, Coast to Coast? Tell me about yeah. it. Coast to Coast on AM. Oh, we were on that. Were we? No, we were on something with the word coast in it. We were guests for steampunk stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, coast to coast, but that was on TV. And that's when the kid from Stranger Things was on there and stuff. Um, so, <laughs> coast to coast, it's on the AM channel. I remember many, many years ago, because I listened to talk radio at night, and listened to coast to coast, and this woman kept calling in saying Bigfoot was in her trash can. Was One moment. Me. Good gang, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you for that subscription in the middle of the night. <laughs> God, he says, well, I come in and see a full-grown man give six birth total. to a cat, always well, subverting my expectations. Man give birth to a cat. <laughs> always subverting my expectations. Good gang, you're, you're in Belgium, right? I don't actually remember. Andrea, go on. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, well, this Trust lady me. would call into the show and talk about Bigfoot going through her track. And? So is it Bigfoot or Big Mama? <laughs> but I'm like, why would... So is Bigfoot homeless? This is sad. This is a problem, yeah, Big, people. Yeah, Bigfoot's, Bigfoot's probably homeless. Was but, till he got that job with the purple mattress people. Well, that's just one Bigfoot family. There are probably many, many more struggling oh, out true. there right now. What are I we going to do about it? Doctor Seuss books. You what? You did what with the Doctor Seuss book? I thought I saw him in some Doctor Seuss books. Goony goo goo. By the way, if anybody does not remember that, I need to get that sound. Goony goony. <laughs> See, I talk about this all the time, and everybody looks at me like, what the hell are you talking Did nobody watch Eddie Murphy stand up in the late 80s? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did. So, good gang, you're in Australia. Do you eat Vegemite or Marmite? Neither. Or Varmint or Big Mama. <laughs> Doesn't a Marmite sound like something you'd find in your garden going, fucking Marmites, ate all the goddamn potatoes and rutabaga again. That's far. Please don't tell me our neighbors got Marmites. I'm getting more use out of that cricket button than I have ever gotten before. Surely you can't be serious. Whoa, yeah. I am, am serious. I freezing or something? I'm, I'm sure. No, you're fine. Okay. This is everybody's reaction to everything tonight, apparently. <laughs> they just stare at Why you. Why the big foot? <laughs> Maybe they're all upset, so upset, because all the Bigfoot families needed help, and they're out to find them and give them help. See, this is not a new concept. If you remember, Hong Kong Fui, who, as I pointed out earlier, is actually a chupacabra, 
had a day job as a janitor. And then he'd dress in a bathrobe and jump on men at night. Am I a Hong Kong fooey? That's not like porn. Bathrobe? <laughs> it's gave away my secret identity. Mm. <laughs> Andrea is actually Hong Kong fooey. Mm. <laughs> the CPP is a subdivision of the SCP. Okay, God. Okay, fucking. What's the SCP? I don't know. Acronyms. Damn it. <laughs> well, CPP is Cryptid Protection Program. Oh, right. So SCP would be Squirrel Crap Project. <laughs> Shit Crap what? Poop. <laughs> Silly no. Cock Puncher. There's a video about that. There's a whole movie starring Jay and Silent Bob that has Mark Hamill playing the cock knocker. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that one. Really? Okay. You I gave mean, us a I wiki instead of just telling us what it stands for? You know our internet um, crashes if we fucking sneeze too hard. It stands for... Secure, Contain, Protect. Yeah. Okay, and I still don't know what they do. What? Hold on, internet is crashing because I pulled up the web page. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, are we all back on now that I've closed down that web page? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Don't open up any more web pages, Andrea, because... They just send it. I, I have it. Okay. So secure, contain, protect. What are they securing? What are they containing and protecting? It really just sounds like nut farmers. Secure the nuts, contain the nuts, protect the nuts. Yeah. And, mm. and and Shar has asked, how is, this empire, how is this entire podcast being broadcasted without somebody asking for about tree fitty? Stupid Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> What's the tree fit? Was... Chef from South was... Park. Yep. You I haven't. I know that chef, but what? It... What? The Loch Ness monster was coming around to collect money from him, in an overcoat. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> See, I just know about his chocolate salty balls. I didn't know about that. You're talking Shh. about me again. Chef has layers, like a chocolate salty ball layered cake. If nuts are legendary creatures, cryptids, and weird shit, then yes. Okay, so it is, uh, okay, gotcha. Well, you need to contact these people, the SPCA or whatever they are, and tell them, <laughs> back it off on their fucking website. This is not 19... 2001, where, you know, we've all got a MySpace page with dancing jiggly stuff and sparkles it's what hmm? i think i think i've gone too far oh damn. quick musical dance break and we're back so the chupacabra what would they do with that i, I would think all barbecue they do is run around and suck yeah. goats calamari Oh, you could, I mean, if it'll suck a goat, it'll suck one of the white trash rednecks around our area. We could probably make a lot of money off this. At least $2 a, $2 a, $2 a cock? That would be correct. <laughs> there, there was a conspiracy theory that Jack the Ripper was actually the Loch Ness Monster. I remember watching that episode of, uh, not America's Most Wanted. What's the other one with the missing kids? I don't know. Unsolved Mysteries. So they solved it, and it's not a conspiracy theory? It's it's true? Maybe. 
what? Okay. Is this a protect the nuts thing? Or are we on the... <laughs> about... No, the one about Jack the Ripper being the Loch Ness Monster. No, that's just proven. <laughs> Loch Ness Monster long lived, has done many things, including a life of murder, as well as being a doctor, and also originally taught the chupacabra everything they know about goats and sucking. So how is Ernest Hemingway Deadpool? I don't know. How. How is Ernest Hemingway Deadpool? Oh, I was afraid to ask. Okay, Gary, we'll hurry. What, what? See. He can't hear you, so it don't matter. Yeah, Char, Char says, I love conspiracy theories. I need a program to belong to. Have you considered Alcoholics Anonymous or the Republican? I, I Either. I, I, or have you considered the Tavern Society? What do you mean? African or European? Whatever. And by the way, if you're curious about the Tavern Society, that's actually something we did put together. And our pins should be in, in a week or so. Too many steps. Well, you could turn some of them into stumbles. <laughs> and as long as the steps are going down, they're easy. If they're going up, well, a little different. A little different. Welcome back, hey, Trin. Welcome back, Trin. Hold on. She, I got a... mythical creatures. <laughs> there we go. We can't click on the link or the whole thing crashes. Mm -hmm. Put it in Discord so we can look at it later. Okay, so let's each pick one, one cryptid from, from anywhere, go wild with this, <clears throat> to protect. Now, I'm going to choose mice. I know, that's why I shouted out quick. But like, Mighty Mouse... Those uh, mice from rescuers. Yeah, the, these these are. Uh, <laughs> so th this is what I want to. <laughs> Char says a bundle snowman for sure. Bumbles bounce. So I will decide where I'm going to send my mice to save them. Each of you guys pick a cryptid. All I can say is don't send them here because the cats like to hunt. See, that's why I was going to pick Mighty Mouse. And I was going to say, but I can't save him because Travis's cat's already ate him. <laughs> <laughs> Only his balls, Trin. Trin says Ed is salty now. Only his balls. <laughs> well, since you can't have mice now, Ed, who would you pick? Underdog. I love beagles, man. That's fair. Okay. What about his girlfriend? Are you going to help her out, too, or just him? Uh, Polly, whatever the hell she is, you know. I think it was uh, Polly Dent or Polly Grip was her name. One of the two. Polly Dactyl? It might have been. Underdog. Me and Underdog, we'll, we'll hunt down some rabbits, though. Man. Um, some rabbits, too. Might have been Polly Amorous. <laughs> something, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. She does dogs and cats. Okay, what about you, Andrea? Gnomes. Garden gnomes. <laughs> gnomes. <laughs> I think gnomes. No, no. Shar has picked the abominable snowman, also known as mm -hmm. Bumbles in some circles. So let's all let's all decide how we're going to protect these. Andrea, how are you going to protect? Arden good gnomes. I don't know. <laughs> well, where's because a good I place? Good. Mm -hmm. Come on. I can't keep them in my garden because our yard keeps flooding from all this darn rain. They would drown. It's because the Loch Ness Monster, after ending their career as Jack the Ripper, <laughs> and between movies... <laughs> 
lots of uh, monsters here. Um, Trin says, I don't know who Crips are. Crips are the enemy of the Bloods. Absolutely. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yep. They want the blue bandanas. <gasps> we got a raid. Let's take a quick moment here and say hello to mm -hmm. Nick and everybody and else who joined in the raid. Okay. Guys, we are recording a live podcast here, so pardon us if we uh, keep on going with what cryptids we're protecting. And uh, Wordowin uh, has has chosen Nihongi. I'm pretty sure I said that right. What is that? Nihongi. It, it's a so Swedish we're, thing. It's like a ground mole that likes uh, shoes. That sounds sure. like Dazzle. <laughs> so, um, Wordwin, if you put in there, don't put a link because it'll crash the internet. Just what? What is that? Is it like a garden gnome? <laughs> okay, so if you can't put them in our yard because Loch Ness Monster, now that they're no longer Jack the Ripper and they're between movies with Jurassic Park where they get to wear boots and stand on docks and go, Instead, and I assume they're just like in the local pond, just splashing water into our yard. Um, <laughs> see, Gal is a, here. <laughs> Hello, Gala. And again, forgive us, we are recording a podcast, guys, so we might not interact if it's not relevant to the podcast here. So, Andrew, where do you put a bunch of gnomes like that? I would suggest Vegas, but maybe you have something else in mind. Well, I want to keep them close because I really like them. And I can't keep them anywhere near our house because there's vultures and eagles out here and they will eat them. So I need oh to relocate them to a nicer place. <laughs> I don't know. A nicer place Poor than here. Them. So, well, think about it. Maybe, maybe you could just disperse them. I've got an idea for you. I'll help you. Then you can help me decide where to put mine. I think maybe we can take. You don't go, know yet. What? You don't know yet. And I just fucking chose. I pulled mice out of my ass, just like Richard Gear. Um, <laughs> so yeah, well, I have no clue. Um, so we take Arden gnomes and we put them in nursing homes and retirement communities. Because you know, as older people they get shorter, we'll just tell people they're really old. Like, like, beyond Betty White old. Because they shrink, yeah. Well, see, I was thinking maybe they can go help out at the Keebler factory, but nobody knows where that is. It's in Philadelphia. Oh, I... I thought it was in China. They wouldn't like the traffic there, so that's okay. Okay, so a few other people in chat have chosen uh, some folks... So we've got Char with uh, with the Bumble. Need to know where we're going then. Wordwin yeah. has clarified mm -hmm. that Njohag is a, uh, the, the dragon that gnaws on the root of Yasl, um, the world tree. I'm really good at this Nordic pronunciation stuff. Boston. You okay. think so, Boston? Can you imagine, like, Boston? <laughs> hey, you want to come to our house for some cookies at a party? <laughs> Keep your gnomes. Okay. That'd be great. Okay, they... that's why we'll send my garden gnomes. What are we doing with the garden gnomes? Sending them to Boston. They're going to Boston to hang out with the Keblers? Yeah. No, you can pick a dragon train. Just not that dragon. <laughs> That is a very specific, a, a dragon elf or just an elf? Because we already have the or Keebler elf, elves. Elf riding a dragon. <laughs> Dobby. Or maybe a dragon riding a elf. It all depends which fans only page you went to. So yeah. Dobby true. is in witness protection. That is Squirrel. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they gave Dobby some orange fur. And uh, sent him here, and we now have him. We call him Squirrel. 
<laughs> Hold on. <coughs> so Char says, put mine in Russia in an Adidas tracksuit and no one will be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Not necessarily wrong. You're just getting a picture of two. Now, also, I feel like... I feel like... <laughs> you feel like what? I feel like the Bumble could hang out with Wampas on Hoth oh, yeah. and just chill. You see what I... You just hang out with the Wampas Ooh, and just to. chill. But don't... I can't do sound effects, so... I played it. <laughs> and then the crickets, because it was a pro... <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, it was free. <laughs> you know, the fun thing is, I don't know about on your screen, Ed, but on my screen, when Char just said unfollowing... There's no longer the subscriber shot glass next to her name on that one post. Like Twitch went, we got your back. Yeah, I see that now. Oh, wow. Wow. Char got some pool. We should have been a lot nicer. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Make sure you it's get back now. for that. So it's okay. <laughs> Okay, missing for me too. Uh, it's back. It's back. Okay, okay. So Ed, what 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 the hell did you pick again? Underdog. underdog. I don't have to protect it. He's gonna protect me. So yeah, it's underdog. You don't think once he doesn't have to work anymore as a mild no, no, mannered no. newspaper He's reporter? A He's gonna have to fucking work. Okay, so what's he gonna do around your house? Hunt down some rabbits. Hunt down some coons. Yeah, he's going to work. Ed. <laughs> Damn, you people. You know what? Yeah, you people. <laughs> I, I do feel the necessity now to point out he is a white dog. <laughs> well, I'm going to put his ass to work. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, that Trin. Raise a glass to Trin. Good night, Trin. Oh. Night trend. Okay, so work, work, work for underdog. What kind of work? What kind of you hunt down yeah. squirrels and rabbits? You said right. I believe it was squirrels and rabbits. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. Okay, so what are we going to do with your mice? Well, apparently we can just uh, relocate them to certain actors' heinies. You know, if a gerbil mm. fit, mouse should be no problem. And can you mm. imagine being in a no. tight jam, which isn't just being a mouse in somebody's anus, but... Uh, no pun intended. Yeah, just reach around. That sounds really appropriate. Just reach back and pull Mighty Mouse out of your ass and fling it at, at an attacker. Travis. <laughs> Never give up. That's so yes. horrible. What you talking about, man? <laughs> Don't even want to imagine that. On either end. As for the rescuers, though... Hey, maybe we could also bring in that, that rat from Ratatouille. Don't put that in anybody's butt. That one cooks. That's unsanitary. Where where are we putting Word of Wind's World Dragon that chews on tree roots? Away from that tree. Not in the Redwood Forest, I would think. That would keep him busy. How about in a bonsai factory? That's a little... I know. Hmm. Trying to wean them off. <laughs> uh, he'll be spicy. Who, Ratatouille? Might be. Don't, um, uh, don't encourage them. Whichever one you stick up your ass. 
<laughs> no. If they are spicy, I am not putting them up my ass. Bruh. Only if they're not spicy. <laughs> spicy burns. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. So the dragon in a bonsai factory. Bonsai place. Hey, right when Trin left, I got Harry. The cat not just like grew <laughs> awfully her suit all of a sudden. Wow. Zazzle, are you drunk? Did she's she get up, into the bottles? She's up on, up on top of the humidor. <laughs> of course she is. It's like a two inch of <clears throat> shelf space and she's like slithering through it like some kind of cartoon cat. Okay, so where do, where do we put this thing that eats the world tree roots? You know, I have a better question. Where do we relocate Mothman to? Oh, leave him in West Virginia. He looks just like everybody Muffle else is what I'm factory. hearing. What, what, Andrea? You, you, you put him in the light bulb factory and he can test all the light bulbs to see if they work. <laughs> <laughs> so if he's like dry humping, we're like, we got a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it gives him work and it gives them, you know, gives him a purpose. Hey, y'all, okay. just make sure you wipe that off before you send it out. Mothman really liked that one. It's the scrap <laughs> this man's only page. No. <laughs> okay, oh. moving right along. What else we got besides <laughs> Mothman? The, the Jersey Devil? Leave him in Isn't Jersey. Isn't that Daredevil? No, that's Hell's Kitchen. The Devil of Hell's Kitchen. Close enough. Okay, what other ones can we relocate? Johnny Google. Here's what I'm going to ask. What if you had a hippie commune? Which cryptid would you put on a hippie commune? Um, I'd say Bigfoot would be okay there. Definitely. Kind of feel like he's... Because he's all he's, natural. He definitely... I feel <laughs> like you could put him in nudist camp and just tell people he's Italian. You know, whatever. Everybody's got... Yeah. Why not? An Italian basketball player. There's a lot of those, right? Sure. Let's see, there's Larry Bird. So Gary Bird. said that sucked. What? Which one? Mm -hmm. Gary said that sucked. Might have meant one? the workout, might have meant one of the jokes. It's so hard. That's why I'm asking him to clarify. To say. <laughs> <laughs> Gary just says yes. Yes. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. Okay, so we got about 10 minutes left. Let's come up with the last thing that last couple things we have to protect. Is there anything we haven't mentioned that we absolutely feel needs protected? No. <laughs> well, so I'm thinking of this world and the watch. And the little fairies. What do they keep in there as surveillance? The little fairies what? They're keeping the little things of surveillance. They're drawing pictures. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a good idea. So you think our cell phones are actually just relocation centers for different fairies? Maybe. And they're, they're just drawing really fast. They're just in there like Lily Tomlin as the telephone operator, but also has an art pad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could sounds buy about that. Right. I could buy that. That's that's reasonable. Inconceivable. It's, um. So what about you, Ed? Is there besides fairies relocating to electronics? Is there anything else you feel like you'd want to save from the legendary mythical? Mm -hmm. No. 
What, what, what about like hippogriffs? They can save themselves. They're, they're. Really? Do you remember a little thing called Griffin's Chase? Mm hmm. What about Griffin's? What about them? Wow. I thought you were an animal lover. I mean, not like love you long time type animal lover. <laughs> but, you know. So maybe none of them need saving. And maybe we should just leave them the fuck alone. Kind of like with the polar bears when they tried to save the polar bears and a bunch died when they were relocating them. Maybe we should learn from that. Happened with rhinos simple. too, by the way, because rhinos are now also cryptids. And by the way, the last two species of elephants oh. in Africa are now officially on like the extremely <clears throat> endangered list. What are you going to say, Ed? However, they're about to release Californian condors back into the wild for the first time in like I don't know, 20 years or something like that. Hmm. Long fucking time. What about pandas? What about them? They deserve to die. I'm curious why you say that. I mean, they're, they're just sloppy. They lay around, roll around and eat and roll over on their own young and crush them. They, so, you know, whatever. Well, some humans do that. Oh, true. Well, they deserve to die. I need a sound that says, he's not wrong. Let me speak. <laughs> no, there is too much. Let me sum up. Um, no, I can't. I, it's, it's, for those of you that don't know, as cute and cuddly as pandas are, they are so lazy, they will give up reproducing for a food even though they're already well fed and overfed mm -hmm. um, and yeah they absolutely will roll over to get to food and smother their young or crush their young this is uh, maybe I could be wrong here but this might be nature's way of going yeah I think we're done here okay let's make some room so sloths a sloth, which you would think is a mythical creature, it's real. Are they not as lazy as pandas? No, pandas because the woman will scream them? and that slow ass man will drag himself like like literally like four miles hearing her scream to find her to get laid. That is some dedication. Damn right. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Eh, eh. like that horse from Ren and Stippy that came crawling out of the burning building and then when the reporter asked um, can you tell me about how it was and the horse says did I like it? no sir, didn't like it at all the sloth <laughs> on the other hand will be like <coughs> the sloth on the other hand would be like I shagged her rotten baby yeah It, so, which one, um, word one, is not really lazy? They're drugged from their diet. Except for pan, pandas. Pandas? Okay. Is it the bamboo? Is it the pandas? Or is it... Sloths. I don't know. That is a good know. clarification. Okay. Any closing thoughts on this topic, Andrea? I already gave mine. Maybe we shouldn't interfere. Ed. It could... Oh, I'm sorry. More Andrea. Can you harm me? Hello. Or I'll still be hunting coons. Wait, what? Repeat that? No, no, my, my video skipped. Be blown. Or I'll still be hunting coons. Be blown. <laughs> Move <Yeah>. on. <laughs> I think that's reasonable. Get a blow job or else you hunt small hairy creatures. Uh, my mine is uh, we got enough real shit we gotta save. Stop trying to save the mystical stuff. On the other hand, maybe nature says it's time to go. And uh, frankly, 
Tell the Loch Ness Monster to stop coming around trying to get some 350 from me. Okay? Stupid Loch Ness Monster. Want to let everybody know and thank them for sending us all the emails at talkofthetavernshow at gmail.com. That's talkofthetavernshow at gmail.com. You can send us your ideas for show topics you'd like to hear us discuss, as well as your thoughts on any show that you've heard as a podcast or in the VOD or otherwise. You can also send us messages for other people, whether it's tell them to fuck themselves or happy birthday or something in between. Um, appreciate everybody supporting Talk of the Tavern and Right Night, our two podcasts that we record here on twitch.tv slash Travis Tavern Talk. Yes, Ed? Or if you want, us, want to send us a message to tell somebody to fuck themselves, you can do that too. I'll be glad to do that for you. Even fuck Woo. themselves on their birthday. Mm-hmm. And guys, I really appreciate everybody who hung out in chat, everybody who downloaded or shared the podcast afterwards. Much love to all you guys and the others who subscribed, followed through bits, rated, hosted, or supported us through Patreon, PayPal, or Ko-Fi, Coffee, whatever the hell they call it. We'll never know. But now we're going to get the hell out of here. We're going to look over here at Cogsley, and we're going to get a quote so we can raise our glasses and a toast. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Quote, uh, Cogsley has quoted me as saying, I don't even a do- think a doctor should see that far in. There we go. It's a true story. Referring to the mice hiding in Rick And here's what I'll say. Here's to our little hidden friends. You ain't meant to fucking find them. Stop looking for them. We're out of here. Thanks for joining us for the discussion Bye. shenanigans tonight. You are the Y'all. one thing that makes the show what it is. <laughs> Don't forget to join us at the tavern next week. Until then, have fun, keep flirting, and be good to one another. Now, raise your glass and good cheer. Enjoy the small moments every day and see dreams every night.